to Andromeda, everyone. So, a really kind of cinematic, fast-paced start to the game last time where we've kind of got an enemy immediately. Not sure how I feel about that, but I guess, you know, that's that's how the, a Mass Effect game has to start, I suppose. We've got uh, the Boneheads. I'm not sure what to call them. Um, they seem like... Oh, they, they almost seem like a... The, the soldiers, at least, seem like a race of thralls or, or clones, right? They, they were all completely identical except for the the general guy, whatever he was. The, the king, the emperor, the general, the leader. He was different, but all the others were, were literally, they were identical. So, who knows what other races we're going to run into here. We don't know how developed this place is, uh, but... It seemed that they were responsible for what was happening to that garden planet. Uh, I don't know if it was terraforming to make it better suited for them because they're, they're obviously made of like a harder structure. Maybe they were ch terraforming it and, you know, similar to how like the Turians, maybe they, they have to live in a completely different habitat or like the Elcor or something like that. They needed to terraform the place. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I had some real major problems uploading the video, um, the original part one, to YouTube. It just wouldn't process anything. It was just stuck on 360p. Uh, so you have to forget what I said about my schedule. I've updated the, ba uh, my, the banner on my channel page. We're going back to the two episodes a day thing. Uh, so between 45 minutes to an hour for each episode uh, at 4 o'clock and 10 o'clock so that I can act so that the video is actually process so uh, yeah now we're here at the Nexus where something has happened there seems like there's nobody here um, obviously we've got quite a lot to to catch up in the in the old codex we will do that to secure all connections from the arc to the Nexus what's the priority Start running power and data links first, then move to secondary comm traffic. Got it. I'll follow up with their engineers later. All right. Now, in terms of the characters, um, I don't know, like, squad mate-wise, who's permanent yet. Uh, but we've got Cora, and we've got... Uh, <laughs> what was his name? So Cora, there's definitely an interesting dynamic with her because she was probably next in line to be Pathfinder. So there's an interesting power dynamic there where she might be a bit judgmental of us if we don't perform uh, to certain standards. She's going to feel like she might be babysitting us a little bit because we're the daughter of, of the last, pa last Pathfinder. She might be a little bit... Yeah, might be a little bit bitter. That's an interesting dynamic. The other guy is a little bit annoying. Uh, we're not going to designate him with Caden, Ashley, Jacob's status just yet, but he's... Mm, uh, I, 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 I've already, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so he's he's the honorary, honorary Caden, I'm afraid. Uh, he's a little bit annoying. Um, yeah, he's like a weird Caden-Jenkins mix. But anyway, I digress. So yeah, I think something bad has happened here at the Nexus. I don't think there's going to be anyone here. Obviously, I think large parts of the game might be dedicated to finding the other arcs, the Salarian, Asari, and Shurian arcs. Uh, I will look at our, how to level up and stuff. Yeah, this is all really overwhelming, so I'm just going to take everything that's not nailed down and deal with it later. It is, uh, the the aesthetic is, is interesting, isn't it, man? I, I have a question for you guys. What do you prefer in your sci-fi? Do you prefer the dirty style of sci-fi? You know, like the more cyberpunk style, you know, like the more industrial style, like in Alien, where everything's like that 80s style, where everything's kind of big and, and clunky, uh, but it's, it's got that uh, industrial quality to it? Or do you prefer this more kind of tr Star Trek, like clean lines, thin, you know, more, sort of almost like medical 
style sci-fi, kind of like this room is. Which, which do you prefer? Uh, let me know in the comments. <laughs> I'm not trying to just generate comments for no reason. I'm, I'm interested. I always find it funny when people ask in YouTube videos, when they ask a contrived question just so that they can get interaction on the video. That's not what I'm doing. <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for. Yes. Let your teams know the docking procedures are now in effect. We've got 20,000 colonists still asleep, and we'll need somewhere to put them when the alarm clock goes off. As soon as we get clearance from the Nexus, we'll be following stasis revival protocols. We want to avoid any log jams, so it's vital your teams coordinate with each other and keep people moving. Any questions so far? Uh, how do we handle deaths that occurred in transit? Right. Evil bald guy asking about it's an deaths. It's unfortunate fact that not everyone will have survived the voyage. We've already got scattered reports of medical problems from that dark energy cloud we hit. If somebody didn't make it, check with the medical officer. We'll see about notifying their next of kin. I'm hoping it's a rare exception. Also, try to keep it quiet. Andromeda is all about new beginnings, not holding funerals. That's not the right attitude to have at all. So we've got our first evil bald guy. He's already asking about where he can put the bodies. I mean, dude, be a bit more subtle. I don't know how. I mean, this game came out in 2017, right? How did they screw up the hair so much? I mean, look at his bonds. I mean, that look that genu that looks like pubes on his head. Let's be honest. The bald guy looks better. <laughs> she does not look better. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What happened? What happened? <laughs> All right, anyway. All right. Sorry. The tram console. Let's go. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew, just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. It means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one. After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. Sh shut we up. all could. Yeah, rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Okay, I like having this zoom feature for the dynamic dialogue. Here we are. Yeah, he's already annoying me, man. He's already annoying me. Yeah, something's going to have gone wrong. I wonder what it's going to be. Some sort of disease. <sighs> Edgy walk. Oh yeah, we've got horror lighting. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Shit. Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing an awfully good job of it. Shut up, dude. <laughs> Navina? We could see what the VI has to say. Yeah, all right. I hate, I hate with the impatient tips. All right. Plants are still alive. Avina? Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry, my code is limited to information and yeah. simple interaction simulation. Stop wasting our Please time, dude. From the following pre programmed responses. Uh, let's just start simple. Uh, what year is it? What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? Good one. 
man when far future stuff like this is all it just gets you excited right i just i remember in near automata spoiler alert this isn't much of a spoiler it's just the year it's set because that's set in like what is it like the year eleven thousand or something i mean it's just just that concept alone like the, i know that this is nowhere near as far forward as that this would be i mean how many generations would this be ahead A lot. But, um... Yeah, this is like a thousand human generations, uh, like pe generations of people, right? If you've got, if you have like three generations within a, a century. I don't know. Do people tend to talk about generations in decades now? I don't know. Right, what can you tell me about Andromeda itself? What can you tell me about the Andromeda galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over 2 billion light years away from the Milky Way galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. I mean, what, what would your attitude be to this, guys? Like, you know, the idea of going here, because like this would, I would not volunteer for that for this kind of mission. You know, if I was like, you know, high enough in whatever space age military or whatever to be offered to go on this mission, I would not go. I just wouldn't go. Let someone else be first. I hate, I, like, I, I never want to be an early adopter of any, I hate being an early adopter of technology and stuff. I never do it. The first generation always sucks. And I kind of feel like we're just pigs to slaughter here a little bit. That's what I can't, I'm kind of getting the feeling of. But would you, would it excite you guys, you know, being like the pioneers? How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? The place is deserted. Stop asking complicated questions, dude. She already told you about that. The Nexus itself? What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. So I suppose the obvious thing that could, well, might have happened is that the boneheads of uh, rock, the Rocky Boys, I don't know what to call them, but uh, they've got here and killed everyone, but it doesn't seem like there's been any kind of signs of fighting, right? Um, living arrangements? Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? the gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3, or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5. Whichever you choose, rest assured our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. Habitat 7? That's where we landed. She's way out of date. And I guess the other problem is, is, is the issue with this being like a private venture, isn't it? And then that kind of puts like uh, a veneer of falsehood towards things like Avena, always presenting things positively, right? Rather than it being having like the pragmatism of uh, like a government or military expedition. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda. Where the brightest star is you. Oh, just be Current quiet. <laughs> for immigration processing is 
Unknown error. Right. That was helpful. Okay. Could do with a torch about it's now. It's like they didn't finish building it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Hello? I can't tell if Liam is an actual English guy. This place should be packed with people. Oh, have I got my uh, scanner? There's a guy. Oh, Maybe no. Maybe he's got champagne. Let's talk to that worker. Is he going to be an android? Hi there. Oh. We're from Arc Hyperion and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? He's an alien. Did you say an Arc? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But wait, what, what was behind us? We thought you were all dead. There was something behind us. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or. I don't like You're this. You're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't trust I this don't guy. It. Oh, hello there. I'm Tyrion Candles. I lead our militia on the Nexus. All right. I'm Sarah Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. So is this place run by a skeleton crew? Uh, would the only reason it would be heavily populated would be because the other arcs had arrived? But aren't you expecting us? You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've oh. been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. All right. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. Oh. Exiles, really? No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Wow. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. Whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. Those aliens are going to be a real problem. Oh, okay. This day? We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. Yeah, do one. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an arc to finally show up. Fair enough. Docking procedures are green across the board. Oh, we got Krogan! Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaron Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. I recognize his voice. Um. Yeah, we're here to help in any way we can. We've heard about what happened, and we're ready to help. We could use any supplies you have. Food, water, we're short on everything. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at her. You're not Alec Ryder. 
My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Yeah, that's what I said. Please understand. The entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust. All and of them. No word from the other arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. Uh, a yeah. golden world. And something to eat. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? Yeah, the one thing I don't like about this dialogue system, except for like here, for example, it doesn't always have all the options. Do you know what I mean? Um, whereas at least you could usually depend with the Paragade system, you'd have one or the other, right? Let's not talk. Let's not. Let's try and establish ourselves and not keep bringing up Alec. Um, that's that's a bit grim. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's try and instill some confidence. I'm ready to step up and do what needs to be done. I can handle it. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. A cynic. That's no way to treat a guest. Oh, nice, female Krogan. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. It's been a year for them here, I suppose, We're hasn't it? We're all feeling the pressure. Yeah. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. Yep. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. Thanks for playing your part. Thank you for standing up for me there. Mm, hopes in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance. Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. What is with the Let hair me show color? You something. <laughs> An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't okay. be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. So I imagine we're going to get a smaller ship, kind of our own Normandy here, right? Because he said a scout ship. Whoa! All right, getting to know the Nexus. Speak with directors. Oh no, we we did all that. All right, speak with director Tan. Yep. Yeah. Select a mission. Press space to track the mission. Yeah, yeah. We got so much in the codex, dude. We'll do this a bit later. Let's just uh, get get through some important stuff first. The squad levels up. Upgrade Ryder's combat abilities by purchasing combat tech or biotic skills. Okay, Liam is like a full-on... Oh my god. This is full-on RPG, isn't it? Firing concussive shot! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. So we've currently got throw. So we really want biotics, right? So uh, we want to be frontline biotics. You guys will have to give me some tips about this. Uh, I don't want to waste too much time at the minute uh, reading all those skills and stuff. I just kind of want to get through the early stages of the story. Dude, get a chair. This is far too low. Gonna do all kinds of bad things to your back. You're not even looking at what you're typing. Engineering updates. We are working on accessing more power. Man, that's mad. Look at this. 
Yeah, so they're, so they're pretty desperate. Hello, console. You and I are going to be very good friends. <laughs> we'll get you all fixed up and ready to go in no time. As soon as we hook you up to all that juicy, juicy power. Good old Solarians, man. Everyone's got my hair cut, dude. See her hair's she's got like a cool haircut. Let's see what All right, what happened? Mrs. Moody to whom? here. To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. Your face and is right tired? Now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. What the hell are you talking about? Your face is tired? What? What? <laughs> Yeah, he may be the Pathfinder. What the fuck? In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role, eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. All right, Jesus <sighs> Not Christ. Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. You've just met me, alright? Why are you imparting all your misery? <laughs> what do you think we're going to do with the boneheads? There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack, they disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Okay. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We well, came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Yeah, well if- Ugh, goddamn poetry. This chick is bizarre. Yeah, at this point, I would have just done one. <laughs> I would have gone. Colonial director position. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Yeah, good. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. Dude, if... How did you know my dad? You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends, or...? I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Well, thank fuck for that. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. Oh my Much god. Like a colonial director without colonies. Yeah, I get it. All right. Let me slap this bin. Jesus Christ. Why is she I don't understand. Like surely she'd be like overjoyed to see not not us as an individual but for an arc to have made it here. The human one as well. There's also the strange technology has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. Okay. You've had no colony successes in over a year? How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plot down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. 
Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. All right, I'll be going. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Yeah. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. All right, well, you go and rest your face because it's tired. Please be advised that Hyperion docking procedures are now complete. God. All right, moving on. Docking clamps. Fully active and secure. Docking clamps. What an awful human being. Right. Uh, where did we come? Did we come in from over here? Got another information wall. Useful. Wow, it's just so much space to walk into here. Hello, I'm Jan Garson, founder of the initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all your call. Look around at your achievement. Founder Garson's office is located. Please select a topic. Uh, the status of the Nexus. Integration from the Hyperion is ongoing. Personnel are still restricted to operations. Employee data. You are Sarah Ryder. Salary code 19B. Active Pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director Tan. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 <laughs> days. Nice. Seriously? Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on while you wait? Soft For directory. initiative strategy and Pathfinder coordination, please see Director Jaron Tan. For colonial affairs or outpost status, please see Director Foster Addison. No, I'm alright. For station maintenance, please contact Superintendent Nakmore Kesh. For militia operations or Apex deployment, please see Tiran Kandros. Okay. No, we're sorry. Except for this one. Viable planets, capable of supporting life, are key to our survival in Andromeda. The viability of a world is affected by several factors, including temperature, resources, threat levels, political stability, and so on. We have few viable planets currently within range. Resource levels are considered at risk. And how are these planets selected? The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Even at a distance, studying the light from stars can reveal much about their planet's composition and atmosphere. Seven worlds, nicknamed Habitats, have the life-supporting environments and resources we need to start our new lives in Andromeda. All right. All right, let's go and talk to Tan. Only uh, Javik was here to throw Addison through the airlock. This is the planet where we landed, Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. About time. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Good. Does she know that? I oversee the entire <laughs> initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. Oh, thank that you. End, the scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? Mm. It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. 
Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Yeah, just point the way. Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about the... <sighs> Something wrong? Hmm. Ryder, King Simi and Sam Node on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No. I'm fine. Please be advised that Hyperion docking procedures are now complete. I mean, I, I understand why... Ryder would be annoyed about us kind of him making it sound like we're expendable, but we're, all, we're we're like the beginning of a new frontier here. So just everything we do, we're going to be expendable in, right? There's going to be no guarantees, no safety. We're we're at the tip of the spear, right? So I don't think we can really object to that attitude, particularly as things have gone wrong. Ryder, you have my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Do you have any information on them at all? Any idea where they went? Nothing certain, but tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? The, uh, the rebel people, I guess? Sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you... It's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, G.N. Garson... Oh, no way! How, how did she die? How did Jean Garson die? With the rest of the leadership, when the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large uh, wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jian Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. That's grim. That's really grim. Kandros mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. Criminal elements. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Criminals? Exiles, we called them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloan Kelly. She used to be one of ours. What? 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 Why did you bring... Who is this Sloan Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. All right. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen. Fair enough. Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. Where did the Krogan go? There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. Yeah. The last place you want them involved. No. Their muscle. Nothing more. Oh, for Good God's for sake. fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Dude, come on, you don't have to be a complete stereotype Solarian. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them. Yeah, we but know. The Krogan we know. could never tame their worst instincts. Yeah, they did. What if I they suppose bring their that hasn't to Andromeda? That hasn't happened. We'll yet. all be dead. Your role? You just the big As wig. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. Why? 
What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. Well, fair enough. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management, then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. This exile thing feels really uh, out of place, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, why? When you're, when you're at the tip of the spear, like, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Like, strange. So, you're an accountant? <laughs> Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Oh, that makes you qualified. Life had its detours, and I went a different direction. Then, I heard about the initiative, and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. Oh. These are just like all roadblocks to getting shit done, right? What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. Solarians are a strange choice, though, right, for uh, a mission into uncharted space just because of their life expectancy, right? You think uh, Krogan and Asari will be better choices? I mean, we know a lot of this, but let's ask. What do you know about the early days of the initiative? As most everyone knows, Gian Garson's vision made it happen. Yep, yep, yep. She was an entrepreneur on Earth, wealthy. Yeah, we know. Carson had the idea for the initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. But yeah. she persevered. And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. Why, do you, why did you come? Why do you think most people came? Oh. There are thousands of reasons. One for every colonist here. What does any pilgrim seek? Usually, happiness. Finding the thing that eludes them. The thing to fulfill them. While we cannot promise they will find it. We can facilitate the search. So how many different species have we got? It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Yeah, that's not Though looking I'm not good. Sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. Oh yeah, dude, we As get it. As a Solarian, my it. kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing that... I've seen here has changed that. That was implied, mate. Uh, the miss Do you have any idea of the location of the missing arcs? Did they all go to their designated golden worlds? Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No, and that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? Oh, right. We yeah. had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Okay. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. Aw. <laughs> oh, shame. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on sight can be discouraging. Yeah. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. 
It's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Yeah. But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. All right. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm happy to help. You will find our futures depend on each other's success. All right, fine. Good luck. Get back to doing the accounts. Right. Um, speak with Cash Kandros. All right, let's go. So we need to. What the hell are you doing? Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. All oh, right, they're Stuff not important. Exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening, but not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. I don't know. Not really paranoia. You know what they say. It's not paranoia. If someone is out to get to you, yeah. Third time this week. It's getting worse. First one was small stuff. This one could have hurt bad if I'd been closer. That's not good. Sorry. Understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. You told anyone? Did you talk to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. Well, why? I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait. That's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me if they start hitting critical systems. All right, fine. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that would really help. I've sent the locations to your Omni tool. Just send me the data when you're done. Why do? Why can't you do that? I mean, I'm gonna have to learn to. I'm fine. I'm gonna have to and learn I to say no to this to this stuff, blue. man. Find out why. Be careful. Speak with Sam. Right, let's go speak with Sam first. This guy can electrocute himself a few more times. Uh, wait, where the hell do we go? Is it down here? What? Where do you want me to go, dude? Huh. I think you forgot to hit confirm. Okay. Okay, the map is is playing tricks on me. Yeah, it wants me to go under here. Oh yeah, I had an arrow on it, didn't it? Fair enough. Cora? Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? Exactly. Alright, she's on, uh, she, she, she's on our side. Yeah, meeting Addison was interesting. She doesn't know you. I do. And you're doing fine. Thanks. I appreciate it. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. Nice. They said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your brother's doing. Okay, so this might be interesting because we might... Uh, like... One of the best things about Mass Effect 1 was just our license to go wherever the wherever we wanted because we were a Spectre and like the the worst parts the the worst aspect of 2 and 3 were that we were kind of being told what to do or we were kind of sh like 
being controlled by someone else. We didn't have really necessarily have freedom to decide where, what we were doing. So um, the idea of us just going around Andromeda and figuring shit out ourselves is really appealing. I know that we have a responsibility to find habitation and everything, but yeah, the idea of us just kind of being free to explore an uncharted. The hell are you doing? Um, uncharted galaxy is 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 awesome. The premise, right? The whole premise is is, is awesome. See, the sprint is a toggle, but the walk isn't a toggle. I want it to be a toggle. Alright there, Sammy. Hello, Sarah. Welcome back to Samnode. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential? You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Okay, he's doing it for a reason. I think we need to have some kind of like intrinsic trust with Sam, so... I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. Okay. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Oh, he's a true I AI. I the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's me now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically no enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. Yeah, if I'm noticeably stronger than everyone else, though, it could scare people. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Mm. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Mm. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So, what's different? I he's am a, a new form he's of a AI, person. drawing directly from the human experience. Your yeah. implant is my window into the world. Yeah. So, like, he's sentient because he can perceive through us. Whereas if he's only restricted to his computer and his interactions, to, he, he can't necessarily perceive the world um, in a multitude of ways. Then he'd only be, he would be sapient, but not necessarily sentient. So he's not just a computer. And we know that Alec Ryder got in trouble for going too far with AI in the Milky Way, so this this kind of expected. Yeah, wow. That's yeah. pretty amazing. But beyond awesome. what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. I don't. Yeah, he's got a point. No. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, okay. there's a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Okay. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Profiles allow Sam to reconfigure Rider's implant for superior battlefield performance. Select profile and press space to activate it. Oh. Okay. Um, Adepts are biotic specialists capable of disabling and killing enemies with powerful mass effect fields. This profile reconfigures Rider's biotic implant, implant, enabling her to defeat opponents without firing a single shot. Isn't Vanguard the thing we want?
Yeah, Vanguard is what we want to put some points in. Okay, so we can diversify ourselves here. So if we want to do a mix of Adept and Vanguard, we're going to need, what, three skill points each invested in combat and biotics, right? Okay, so we do have some skill points, right? Uh. Oh. oh, so can I? I can only accept. I can't like have two active. I don't feel like this was an option at the beginning, was it? So at the minute, we've only got one point in here. Wow, this is overwhelming. Okay, special reinforces ordinary shields with biotically empowered mass effect fields. I feel like that would be that will be really important. Throw to get them out of cover. Barrier to ensure because if we're sprinting around a lot. Lance devastates a small area. Singularity deploys a gravity well that lifts and damages unshielded enemies. Okay. Okay. Combine with the throw power to hurl a held target. Um, okay. We're going to be putting points into this anyway. We'll probably not be putting too much into tech. Barricade. Well, there's a temporary energy barricade that will boost shield generation for anyone who takes cover behind it. Upgrading versions provide additional combat bonuses for allies. Nice. Grip mine. Black cannon. Concussive shot. I'm not going to spend any of this just now. Alright, we can go to our ship. Um, but we can also go to our father's quarters. So we'll probably do that. But we'll end the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. We met a bunch of people on the Nexus. They all seem kind of like the worst. Hopefully once we're on our ship, we don't have to deal with them. Addison can go rest her face. Uh, the Solarian accountant can go do some accounting and we don't have to speak to them for a while <laughs> so I like Cora though Cora seems cool and Sam I really like Sam so I hope you enjoyed this episode leave me a like if you did and just remember everybody never trust an on crate see you next time